These are the instructions for an origami shark. The first step, we're going to take a sheet of paper. We're going to start with the colored side up. We're going to make a book fold. So go ahead and take the bottom edge, fold it all the way up to the top, and make sure that you have it nice and lined up so that there's no extra color showing. Just get it where it's perfectly lined up and crease down at the bottom. Go ahead and open that back up. Then we're going to do the other book fold. We're going to do the other direction as well. Again, try to be nice and precise. So when you open it up, you'll have a really nice plus sign right there. Flip it over. Now we're going to do a diagonal fold. So take the bottom corner, fold it all the way up to the top, just like this. Slide your finger down so it's nice and flat, and then keep your other thumb down there to hold its place. Slide out to one edge and then slide out to the other. Open those two up, and now take the bottom and fold it all the way up to the top. Like that. And again, being as precise as we can. Now just go ahead and leave that flat. What we're going to do is go ahead and pinch right here at the bottom of this line on either side, and we're going to rotate our hands close together so that all of these will come together. We can make a nice triangle base. I'll show you that. This is called a water bomb base. So take both of your fingers right here, right up against the edge, and we're going to rotate them up together. And when they come together there, well, that's going to help us make what's called a water bomb base. You have two edges on either side. We're going to flatten the paper down like that. Now that's not using any new creases, that's just using all the creases that are already there. We're just changing the way that they're folded together, just like that. Now, the next step, we're going to take one flap and we're going to fold it over. So now we're going to have three flaps on one side, three flaps on one side and one flap on the left side. We're going to now take this one flap, the extra flap, and we're going to do a kite fold. We're going to fold this edge. This leading edge right there is going to come down and it's going to lie right on the middle line, just like this. Okay, next go ahead and rotate it over. So now it's facing the opposite direction. Next we're going to take this top point of the whole triangle and we're going to bring it down to this spot right here. You can also think about it as taking this edge and bringing it down to the bottom edge and cutting the whole thing in half. So just like this, when we fold this down, it's going to thin the tail all the way down to a point, like that. Next, we're going to fold up the dorsal fin. So this. This fold right here, this top of this triangle, that's going to turn into our dorsal fin. So we're going to fold it up enough so that you could see it. If you were to flip it over, you enough so that you can still see that, that fin poke up right there, just like that. Next step, we're going to take this edge right here, we're going to fold it in half. And that's going to thin a little bit of the flipper. And if you want to have a nice pointed flipper, you can leave it all the way down there. And you can also fold it down just like this so that if you look at it, it just sort of thins it a little bit but still keeps a nice little flipper aspect to it. Just like that. Next, I'm going to take, you see how there's a, there's a skinny triangle right here at the top. What we're going to do is we're going to fold that skinny triangle over. What happens when this, this triangle comes over is it wants to bring all of this paper right here with it. And that's okay, we're going to bring that over too. So go ahead and we fold this over. All of this is going to come with it and take note of what kind of a shape I'm making right here. I want to thin this down, not all the way to a point, but enough to right here. So this is the bump at the top of the head, right like that. Okay. So the last step for the shark after we folded this down is we're going to now split apart the tail. You see how this tail section right here, we're going to fold this flap we're going to fold it down. There's two flaps in there. Go ahead and take one of them, the bottom one, and fold it down however you like. You can fold it with an inside reverse fold. You can also fold it just flipping it over like that, just sort of pulling it down. So whatever works to split it apart like this. 
and that creates the flukes on the back side. And then flip the whole thing over, and that is the origami shark. Thank you.